Hey, Shooby Doodlers, now to draw a pug, I'm going to do a little bit of um, a plan. I'm just going to have a circle there for the face. And then I'm going to have a little square kind of thing there for the body, just to give me a rough idea of where it's all going to fit. And I'm going to start off by drawing two triangles on each side, kind of like that, with a slightly curvy edges, and then follow back up around the circumference of the circle like that. And then we need two great big soppy eyes. And this is the secret of the pug. <laughs> because they, uh, their, their facial features resemble babies, and we just kind of stare at them and go, oh, And that's kind of why people love pugs and think they're so cute. And then you want to have a cute little button nose like that, and then two little curves like that, and one coming down the middle. And then this wants to come around and up, and into this sort of slightly grumpy kind of look. <laughs> and then we want a little lip there as well. And then we need a fold coming into the eyes above like that. And then that will kind of come around there too. And then this then kind of wants also to join up underneath like that. Now we want lots of folds and things going on. So we'll put a fold in over the eyes like that to make him look a little sad and lost as well and I kind of curl around like that <laughs> and then put these other kind of folds and things in the top of his head and then which isn't terribly smooth so that's going to be slightly lumpy too maybe some little sort of spots around there and maybe some folds just around the neck as well and then that's going to come round into the tail and zigzag, zigzag, zigzag back to about there. And then we want to draw kind of haunches and down into, this is the ankle, I think. And then pause like that, which will come up there. And then that's the whole hip part there. And then we want to come down here into... The front paw, which will go up there, and the chest comes down and then up a little bit like that. And then we can have another foot there, and we can have the back foot coming in like that. I used to draw these kind of videos on Draw Stuff Real Easy channel, and I'm doing these all on Mondays now, so make sure you are subscribed <laughs> to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel. And... Uh, You'll be able to watch these kind of videos every Monday. Draw stuff on Mondays. And Sarah Koish or Koish asked me if I would draw this over on Draw Stuff Real Easy. I'm not doing any more videos on there anymore. I'm doing them all on here. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel. And we want to put some shading into the eyeballs as well there. And some shading into that one as well and then we're going to want some bit of shading leave a bit of white on top of the nose and then we want some all the kind of way around here as well and maybe a bit in there we could put a bit of shading just in there to give a bit of shape to the leg we want some shadow in there some shadow there a bit of shading there bit of shading there too and then I think we just really need some shading on the floor to put him <laughs> on the table or on the ground like that and maybe just a little bit underneath there too. There we go, how to draw a pug and if you're still watching then please give this video a big thumbs up and tell your friends about it and this channel too. Thanks for watching and you can support this channel and get so much more on my Patreon page. Click to find out more. Make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rain and Drawing channel on YouTube and in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.